Hello there, another edition of your everyday web and software tips. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Canva to design the labels you see on your screen. Now, if you don't have time to hire a graphic designer to design a label for your food or your product, this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily use Canva to design any label at all in whatever dimension that you want to. So without wasting time, let's begin. So here I have the labels in Canva as you can see here um, I put them on three pages here so we are going to go to a new um, page a new canvas but I'm going to show you how I was able to design these labels so first off let's head over to the Canva uh, main dashboard and let's search for you got label because I'm designing a label for a um, a you got product so let's just hit enter now once you hit enter it will give you a number of um, label templates that you can customize to your preference so looking throughout go with i want to go with this orange minimalistic label here so when you click on the dot it says customize so let's customize this label now Now once, it's, once it opens up, I want my label to be of a particular dimension. So to get a dimension, I first need to go to resize and indicate the dimension that I want. So in here, I've already inputted, when I was designing the, the labels I showed you, I already inputted some dimensions, which is the 19.5 by 3.5 centimeters. So let's click on that and hit on resize now mind you the resize option is only available for the pro version of canva so if you are using the free version of canva what you can do is you can opt for the pro version you can give the pro version a trial so canva will give you a 30 day trial for their pro version now after the 30 days then you have to pay for the pro version so you can give it a try so that you'll be able to change or resize your designs in Canva. So once my 19.5 by 3.5 centimeters is done, so this is so 3.5 of the height and the width is 19.5 centimeters. Now you can see uh label at uh, label template is now in the middle. Let's just select everything and then drag it to fill the whole um size or the whole dimension of the size we indicated now once that is done let's pick the background and let's push it to the sides so now we have a template that we can easily work with so going back to our what we want to design let's zoom in a little here you can see we have Mimi strawberry um, probiotic fresh yogurt so let's just start with that maybe strawberry probiotic fresh yogurt so going back to our design our templates let's select this and bring it here so in here i would say type in the minis and just put in here strawberry Now we need to write fresh probiotic fresh yogurt. So Mimi has to be minimized a little. So let's minimize it here. Let's put it here and let's copy and paste the Mimi's and make that one a little bigger. And you can type in probiotic or fresh probiotic yogurt and once that is done you can reduce it a little stretch the sides of the containing box let's minimize stretch the ingredients here 
and bring it down here let's go back to our main um, design so you have ingredients here so you can just copy what we have here so go back here and just paste that in here now if it's too small you can increase the size a little so now it says ingredients now let's increase the size of the probiotic now you can change the font to whatever font you want so if you go back here and you select this you can see this is the fantastic um, font so going back you can just select the whole thing and then just search for the fantastic font now once you find it you can just click on that and you see it changes to that font that we want exactly now going back you can see ingredients is why you have net weight here so you can easily copy it here and then go to the text click on subheading and paste the net weight in there and let's minimize the size a little after doing that we can drag and drop and bring it here so i wouldn't change all the fonts but but you get um, if you want to change the font you can just head over to the font section here and change it now i want to change the background color so going back here let's pick the background color we used it's more of a pink color if you want to get the color code just click on it again and just copy the color code here and hit on the background again click on the color click on add new color and paste the color code so you can see the background has now changed now i want to change the color for this as well so let's click on that click on the add new color paste the color again now let's go for a darker version yes so if you go back you can see this one is a little dark so it's, it's a little a bit darker so going back here we can remove the fruit we have here and we'll shortly put something or the yogurt um, symbol or yogurt some yogurt image in the middle now with the, the circles and um, you can change the color here the border colors to say white or a deeper color a deeper shade of the pink let's, let's just choose white for now let's choose the inner circle and make sure that is also white now we have some barcode here we didn't need the barcode so you can easily eliminate it for now so it says Mimi strawberry probiotic the ingredients net weight we have something similar here let's just change the text of the ingredients to a white color going back let's change this to a deeper pink color same for the Mimi strawberry so we are getting the just hit on the color text color change that to white and i think this color is a bit deeper so let's go for a deeper color here yes change that of the strawberry as well to that color and this font is lazy dog so let's go in here and change the net weight font color to lazy dog and as you can see it changes so it's good to maintain consistency with the color so we want to make that also the same dark pink we have in there so we have the less left side here almost looking the same as you can see here now we are left with our image in here so how do we get this yogurt and then these strawberries by the side you can easily do that go to elements and just search for yogurt so 
So we can scan through the yogurt graphics and pick one that we think we can use. So you can see this is the one that we used for the earlier um, label I showed you, the already made label. So let's go back and hit on that um, graphic. Now you can increase the size and put it right in the middle here. Not so big. If it's too big, you can reduce the size. Now we need to have some strawberries beside this one. So let's go for search for strawberry. We already have it in the search results. So yes. So we have some strawberry we can use. I'll go for this one and make it smaller. Put it here. And we can go for one that is um, two or three of them. Now mind you, some of these are only available for the pro section. And as I said earlier, because I'm using the pro section, the pro um, pro account or pro version of Canva, that is why I'm able to assess some of these um, premium graphics. So if you want um, the free ones, you can see the free ones have has no pro um, icon showing beside it. But once you see pro, it means that these ones are for the pro account. So I have the strawberry here. I can reduce the size bring it closer now I want this to go behind the strawberry graphic so let's hit on con let's hit on position and go to backward so it goes behind the you got graphic so we have it here which is almost looking just like this and we have strawberry just underneath so let's pick the net width copy control c control v bring it in here then type straw very change the color to white reduce the size a little so you have strawberry just to show what flavor this is now let's go back you see it almost looks like the one we already have now i think we can go for the darker pink for this yes now let's select all of this by hitting the shift button and clicking all the icons here and moving it a little close to the middle yes now once this is done you can now work on the right hand side and what do we have here? We have storage, address, batch number, manufacturing date, and best before. So, because I've already showed you how you can just add the text here, what I would do is I will just delete whatever is here. Now go to the already made um, label and just copy all the text in here. And click on Control C. Go back to the label we are designing and hit on Control V, and we can place them just on the right hand side over here. So whatever information you want to put here, you can just add in the text, <coughs> edit it to your preference, and you are good to go. Now you can see I have some recycle, keep the city clean, and a made in Ghana logo here. How do we add this? So going back, let's go to uploads. Now, these are um, some of them are graphics, some of them are images that I also um, uploaded myself. So with the made in Ghana icon, you can see I uploaded it here. You can just go here, click on any, any graphic that you want to, or any image you want to upload, and you can easily upload it from your computer. So let's click on the made in Ghana icon, reduce the size and put it at the far and right side here now what about our recycle and um, keep the city clean icon so you can come to elements again type in the recycle and it will give us some recycle icons we can use 
let's go for this let's drag it to the far right just reduce the size change the color to darker color now let's now do the um keep city clean let's see if we can find a graphic this this is this one here let's click on that let's reduce the size drag it to the far right and let's change the color also so that all the colors match what we have in here now the next thing we can do right now is we have the first page done so if you go back you can see we have the our first page done right now now <clears throat> what we can do is just um, hit on duplicate so we want another um, we have another variety of our yogurt which is vanilla it's vanilla flavored so we want to create one two for the vanilla one we just need to hit on duplicate this page so we have two pages now for the vanilla the color is being we'll change the color to a color that looks more vanilla like if i can put it that way so just copy, go back here now this is the color code for the vanilla one you can just hit here now hit the background go to color and then go to add new color and paste the vanilla color here so what we need to do right now is change and put some vanilla um, graphics beside our yogurt container and change the color of the text so if you hit on the color of the text it would cut text color you can see the color code here you can copy that too and then come to drag on all the text and then hit on text color add new color and then paste the color in here so that all our text will change to the color we want and we'll do same for the text on the right hand side hit on text color now the color is already here so you can just click on it and everything changes we do same for the keep the city clean and the recycle icon going back you can see this color is also the color of the text so we can do that here click on the oval shape here or the circle shape click on the color and then change the color to that now i want to move change the text here to vanilla and then remove the strawberry graphics here and search for vanilla see if you can find some vanilla um, graphics here just scroll through see if we can find one any um, graphics at all that is a that represents the vanilla flavor or vanilla color is what we are looking for so it seems it's taking us a while to find one but we can just go with the ones we saw earlier so you can just pick any of these ones here it doesn't it doesn't need to be exactly the same as we have i think these are images i found online which i uploaded i think so yes so they are here so let's go back and go to uploads i think yes i can find them here so just click on them <coughs> and just place it beside here click on it again and place the other one here but move this to the back so go to position and say backward so now we have our vanilla let's change the text also here from strawberry to vanilla increase the size a little place it back in there now the text is almost the same thing so we can leave it at that so we have our vanilla um, flavor label also done now if you go back 
the last thing one we have is fresh sugarcane juice so how do you go about this so going back let's duplicate this um, page again now let's remove the yogurt the container containing the yogurt let's remove this let's remove that now let's go back and see how it looks now the color here you can select the background color hit on color hit on that select the color code come back here select the background hit on color again hit on add new color and paste so we have the color here now going back let's pick the color of this circle which is here let's hit on the color again pick the color code add new color put it in there so now we have this now i think the text in here is black so we need to make sure all the text in here is black or well, not exactly black but yes going back let's see okay now let's look at the font we used i think this is fira code so let's select with all this font selected let's go to font and search for Vera code let's hit on that so now we can remove Mimi from here and bring fresh sugar cane juice bring it here Increase the font size so but by now you get I mean how to bring in the text so so we don't make the video very long let me just copy what I have in here and delete all that is here and let's just paste yes so we have exactly what we want in here let's go back again now the address is almost the same as the other so let's copy this you don't even need to change it coming back let's just copy the whole um, select the whole text and make sure it's the same color as the ones on the, on the left now I think we need to change the fonts to Fira code um, bold okay let's change the recycle to the color again the city clean color is also changed now to the overall circle we have some sugarcane at the top and bottom we have Mimi's fresh sugarcane juice let's copy that let's paste it right in here now the last thing we need now need to search for is the sugar cane so let's go to the elements bar again and this time let's search for sugar cane then we'll get some graphics it's perfect so we have this graphic we can click reposition it and put one at the top Ctrl C, Ctrl V to copy and put one below. So comparing what we have here to what we have here, we can see we are almost done with our label. So once our label is done, what is left now to do is just export or download it and it will be ready for print. So once we are done with this, let's you can easily go to share, go to download. Now because you are going to print this, you can save it as a PDF, PDF for print, best for printing. So select PDF for print and now you can download your work. I'm just waiting for it to download. Let's save it 
open our computer here. Start download. Let's open it. And as you can see, we have our labels ready to be taken to the print house. So this is very, very easy. This is how you can easily get on Canva and just put things, one or two things, put some text together, put some graphics together and your label is done. So when you go back to where you, where you see there are a lot of labels in here, you can choose whichever label you want and change the dimensions to your preference. And once you pick any of them, you can customize it to your preference. I hope you found this video useful on how to design labels in Canva. And if you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them for you. And if you also like the video, please don't forget to like the video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel so it motivates me to do more videos for you and you can also hit the notes on the notification bell so you, you don't miss any new videos that i'll be uploading very soon thank you very much for joining me and i hope to see you in the next video